Thanks for watching my video today. Let's try to evaluate this limit. The limit and the n tends to infinity n plus 1 by n square plus 1 square plus n plus 2 by n square plus 2 square plus n so on so on plus 1 by n. Right. Since I have already proved that uh, this uh, these types of limit can be converted into definite integral. Okay. So solution let's call or integrate or limit to be p okay p equal to limit n tends to infinity n plus one by n square plus one square plus n two n plus two by n square plus two square plus n so on so on plus one by n. This is nothing but the summation, right? We want to put in terms of summation p equal to limit n tends to infinity <coughs> sum from r equal to one to n n plus r, right? n is just the same thing here right n plus r when r is equal to 1 this one 2 this when n is n so n plus n right upon n square plus r square right same thing so which is got the limit n tends to infinity sum from r equal to 1 to n now the king n common here n is the n common here 1 plus r by n right divided by n square common here 1 plus r square by n square so this, this one and n, here one and will be cancer. So p equal to limit n tends to infinity, sum from r equal to 1 to n. 1 plus r by n, divided by 1 plus r square by n into 1 by n, right? <coughs> so now, I have already said that the limit, these types of limit can be converted into definite integral. So you can check out that. Now, from that, according to that, okay, limit changing to definite integral, replacing this limit and tends to infinity sum from r equal to 1 to n by integral and r by n by x and 1 by n by dx, okay. Now, when r is equal to 1, so this is definite integral, okay. When r is equal to 1, then r by n will tends to 1. This is 1, right? 1 by n, right? n is very large because n tends to infinity, right? n is very large, so this will be approximately 0, right? Then is the thing. So we, r by n will tends to 0. And when r tends to n, r by n will tends to just 1, right? Therefore, or p is going to be integral from 0 to 1. 1 plus x by 1 plus x squared dx, right? So now separating the integral. 0 to 1, 1 over 1 plus x squared dx plus square of integral of integral of 0 to 1 x over 1 plus x squared dx right 1 plus x this one distribute here like this and this is easy right <coughs> so our integral 1 over 1 plus x squared dx is tan inverse of x and putting x squared equal to u in this integral so 2x dx is du because we want to take this so which is the same thing with this right x dx so p equal to tan inverse of x from 0 to 1. This is tan inverse of x. And plus integral from when x tends to 0, u tends to 0. When x tends to 1, u tends to 1, right? So no change. 0, 0 to 1. 1 over 1 plus u, right? Into x dx is what? x dx is du by 2, right? du by 2. 1 over 1 plus u x square is you already here so which is from uh, fundamental theorem of uh, in integral calculus so the inverse of one upper limit first minus lower limit right minus the inverse of zero plus one by two coming here zero to one du by one plus u and this is easy to calculate right pi so the inverse of one is pi by four minus the inverse of zero is just zero plus one by two so this is nothing but the log, right? Log 1 plus u, integral from 0 to 1. So the limit is from 0 to 1, which is pi by 4 plus 1 by 2, log 2 minus log 1, right? So p is equal to pi by 4 plus 1 by 2 log 2, because log 1 is 0, always, right? Therefore, our limit is, limit n tends to infinity, n plus 1 by n square plus 1 square plus n plus 2 by n square plus 2 square plus and so on so on plus 1 by n is pi by 4 plus half log 2 right so then you saw a limit <coughs>